Gentlemen, and lady, I want to thank you all so much for bearing with me tonight. I can imagine, can't be easy to part with all your money, but... You'll get it next time. Next time? What about right now, eh? One game, the three of us, for old time's sake. We're talking. About what? You haven't had any fun in years. Ridden, cold in the mountain, pining over Elisa. Only sheep to keep him warm. Did you hear already? Hear what? A few folks went down to Ballymore with the wall last week. Town full of soldiers and mercenaries headed south. What? Why? They said there's war. In Keltron. Oh, come on. It's Josie Harkmore. Should piss in your mouth and tell you it's raining. So, come on. One game. No? Fine. Enough with you guys. This is a nightmare. We have food and fire and a road for easy walking. It's been raining for two days straight. Think of the kids who will read stories about you someday. Mackin Cow, the man who once walked while a little damp. Oh, so you're funny now. That's a new wrinkle. How long do you think we have left? 20, 30 miles? To the city? A lot further than that. I don't know about this. How do we know they're going to be there? How do we even know they're going we to be know. there? We know. We know. Look, we made it. To what? I don't know. Something. You can spend the night, dry off, get back on the road tomorrow. Hi, my name's Harris Kane. I'm with TCG Artist Management. I'm 6'2", and I'll be going for the role of Mackin. Gentlemen and lady, I want to thank you all so much for bearing with me tonight. I imagine it can't be easy to part with all of your money, but, uh... You'll get it next time. Oh, next time? How about right now, hey? Or one game for the three of us. It's for old time's sake. We're talking. About what? You two haven't done anything fun in years. And Ridhan's cold in the mountains, pining over Eliza, only sheep to keep him warm. Did you hear already? Hear what? A few folks went down to Ballymore with the wool last week. Town was full of soldiers and mercenaries headed south. What? Why? They said there's war. In Keltra. Come on, it was Josie Hartmore. She'd piss in your mouth and tell you it was raining. So come on, let's play. No? Fine. Enough of you guys. This is a nightmare. We have food and fire and a road for easy walking. It's been raining two days straight. Think of the kids who will read stories about you someday. Make him Carl, the man who once walked while a little damp. How are you funny now? That's a new wrinkle. What do you think we've got left? 20? 30 miles? To the city? A lot further than that. I don't know about this. How do we know the others are going there? How do we even know that they're alive? We know. We know. Look, we made it. To what? I don't know, something. We can spend the night, dry off, get back on the road tomorrow. Hugo Beasley, represented by Ollie Aziz Independent, I'm six foot three. Where are my friends? How did you find me? Are they alive? Why do you have that sword? Because it's sharp. I want to ask again. They're not here. What did she do to them? We were separated. My arrow was wounded. You'd want to learn how to be less vague and fast. 
you think you know this world, but you know nothing, girl. The dark itself is coming for your friends, and Mayara has fought its forces with everything she has to keep them safe. They are the only thing she cares about. They are the reason she's in this condition. If she cares about them so much, why did she leave them? She didn't. I did. Where are they? I don't know, but Mayara will. You're a healer. (sighs) You think I'm going to help her? She's the only one who can find them. If you... How will she find them? The guilt is so much worse when it can't fight back. What are you doing here? I want it to walk. Here? In our village? I could ask the same of you. The shaman brought you here with her. A baby whose parents passed. But no one seems to remember exactly when. That's the thing about these little towns. No one keeps track of anything. Births, deaths. That doesn't mean we don't remember. That shaman, the woman who raised me, when she was only 13 years old and realised she could read the signs, she went to your city. She walked from here. It took her months. And when she got there, your sisters took one look at her ragged clothes and her peasant accent and turned her away. She was small, yes. And from a little town which she remembered. Until the day she died. And so do I. See, everyone says you're too young to be shaman, but I disagree. I think you're strong, even if you only had a ceremony a year or two ago. It's been five years! That must make you 25, 26. Doesn't mean I can't do my job. And that's to protect this town. Even if it's from you. Enjoy your walk. Where are my friends? When did you find me? Are they alive? Why do you have that sword? Because it's sharp. I won't ask again. They're not here. What did you do to them? They were separated. Mara was being there. You better learn to be less vague and fast. You think you know this world, but you know nothing, girl. The dark itself is coming for your friends, and Mara has fought its forces with everything she has to keep them safe. They're the only thing she cares about, and the reason she's in this condition. If she cares so much about them, why did she leave them? She didn't. I did. Where are they? I don't know, but Mara will. You're a healer. (laughs) You think I'm going to help her? She's the only one who can find them. How will she find them? The guilt is so much worse when I can't fight back. What are you doing here? I wanted to walk. Here? In our village? I could ask the same of you. The shaman brought you here with her. A baby whose parents passed, but no one seems to remember exactly when. That's the thing about these little towns, no one keeps track of anything. Births, deaths. But we do remember. The shaman who raised me. When she was 13 and realized she could read the signs, she came to your city. She walked there from here. It took her months. And when she arrived there, your sisters took one look at her ragged clothes and her peasant accent and they sent her away. She was small, yes. And from a little town. But she always remembered. Till the day she died. So will I. See, everyone says you're too young to be a shaman, but I disagree. I think you're strong, even if you only had your ceremony a year or two ago. Five years ago. That doesn't mean I can't do my job. Which is to protect this town. From you, if I have to. Enjoy your walk.
Hi, my name is Penelope Mitchell, and I'm represented by APA, and I am 5'8". Mark Bernard, Marcus and McCrimmon Management, reading for the role of Phineas. <laughs> Making cow, my best and poorest customer. Good to see you too. What do you have for me this year? Bring it here then. Mm. Simple, but nice. Not real gold, sadly. Yes, it is. It's worth three marks at least. Mm. Perhaps, but will I be able to sell it here in town? I'll give you one mark. Uh, two. Half a mark? It'll buy you three lanterns. You'll be lucky to have them. Screw you, Phineas. Ah. Pleasure as always. <laughs> 